I was asked by Missy of G34media.com to do this fun interview about my upcoming book release. So um, she invited me to do the interview via video, so here we go. Um, I have my uh, favorite device here, is my Android device, it's a Droid X. Um, I'm surrounded by devices as you can see, um, but this is probably one of my most used devices. <clears throat> Anyway, so I have the questions here that Missy sent over to me in an email, um, and Missy asked, can you share with us the idea and or the inspiration behind your upcoming book? It's a really good question, actually, um, because there are a couple of really good books out on the market about, um, about the same topic. My book is um, about niche affiliate marketing. Probably one of my favorite books on the topic I ordered years ago, I want to say it was like six, six and a half years ago now is the Super Affiliate Handbook by Rosalind Gardner. And while you can get it on Amazon.com, I highly recommend that you get the digital version because she updates it every year. So I read it again every year. And it's always been my favorite book, and I always thought to myself, there's no sense rewriting the Super Affiliate Handbook. That said, I do have some unique um, perspectives and angles and marketing strategies with niche affiliate marketing. Um, I've been doing affiliate marketing for well over a decade. It's, it's actually been closer to probably 13 years that I've been doing affiliate marketing. Um, and for the last, I don't know, probably eight years, I've been doing a niche affiliate marketing full time. And um, so in internet terms, that's like forever, right? So um, anyway, I, um, I get asked all the time, you know, questions, how do you do this? Why do you do that? Um, I speak at the Niche Affiliate Marketing Systems um, uh, event in Atlanta twice a year. I teach workshops there live, hands-on, and um, I know that I have a lot of information to share. And so I was actually inspired recently when I was flying home from Australia. It was my fifth trip to Australia, and I'm one of those weird people that just absolutely loves the 14-hour flight, <laughs> right? So um, anyway, I always, I always get the most creative inspiration when I'm traveling. And um, I was reading something, I was doing something, I don't really remember, and it just, the inspiration just hit me. I said, you know what, I need to put all of this great information down into a book between two covers where somebody can sit down and go from step one all the way through to the end um, from A to Z. Because I have a blog, and actually as of this year, I've been blogging for eight years. That's at clicknewswithaz.com. And um, so there's tons of information. I mean, the archives are just like golden. Uh, but unfortunately, unless you know what to search for or unless you know how to search for it, um, and if you don't know what you don't know, that makes it even more difficult. So um, I decided to take all of the content I've written and publish a book in very easy to understand terms in the right order. Um, so that's kind of how it came about, and um, I don't necessarily think it will be a competing book. I have the greatest respect for Rosalind Gardner, author of the Super Affiliate Handbook. I think, in my opinion, it will be a complimentary book. Um, so, good stuff. Um, good question. The second question you asked here, Missy, um, you mentioned on Facebook you'll be creating digital versions of your book. Can you tell us what obstacles you've faced so far in creating and or setting up the digital version of your book? Well, none yet, simply because um, I, haven't, I haven't gotten that um, going yet. And so I have actually um, a lot of ideas for that. What I want to do is I want to repurpose the book. Um, in addition to publishing a book and being a published author on Amazon.com and having a Kindle version, I do want to offer an electronic version, which will be like a digital download. And the reason that I want to do that is basically I'm going to repurpose the content of the book um, into a course that people can take online. So I, this gives me the ability to reach people who are already online, and it also gives me the ability to reach people who are not yet um, online as far as integrated in with online business and the concept of affiliate marketing. So through Kindle and Amazon I'll be able to reach that market offline or on their Kindle um, and, and then also with the digital version I'll be able to get more hands-on and actually teach it as a course. Um, so no, um, no roadblocks really on that yet. Um, I, have, I have kind of a few ideas on how I'm going to do it as far as technically how I'm going to set it up and things um, workshop wise whether I'll do a digital workshop and, and things like that so um, so no obstacles just yet um, as far as creating it you asked about not just delivering it but creating it basically I'm writing the book on my computer so I will then take that and repurpose it um, into a digital version so it should be fairly easy conversion from there repurposing content whether it's books and ebooks or whether it's um, you know videos and blog posts or whatever. There are so many different mediums now 
Um, so whenever I write good content um, or, or have something great to share in a video, I always try to repurpose that content so that it reaches as many people on as many mediums as possible. So that's a really good tip. All right, third question here. In your own words, what's the hardest thing about affiliate marketing and how do you cover this issue in your book? Well, um, there, are, there are a few things about affiliate marketing that can be difficult. I think the most important or, or the most pressing um, is probably uh, focus. I think people have a very hard time choosing the right niche and staying focused and staying dedicated to that as a business. Not just as a way to make money online, but as a business. Um, since I've successfully done that, I share um, all of my tips, all of my strategies, <clears throat> and I didn't just um, you know, have this, this great lucky strike or whatever and got into it and it just was easy peasy for me. I was a single mom. I was struggling financially. I had two children, one of which who became very ill and I had no choice but to homeschool. So I was homebound um, and I worked my tail off, I kid you not, with two young children all on my own. And, um, and so I, I don't feel like um, like I'm one of these, you know, people who's higher up or whatever, who doesn't have issues and who hasn't gone through life struggles that's trying to tell everyone else, oh, you should do it this way or you should do it that way. But basically, I've been through the fire, so I share with people from personal experience what's worked for me and what hasn't. Um, that said, I also offer lots of options because, you know, we're all different. Some people um, struggle with different things and uh, we're all at different phases of life. Older kids, no kids, younger kids, babies. Um, male, female, etc. In fact, over 50% of my readership is male. Some of them are single fathers, some of them have families, and so there are a lot of different circumstances and situations, and everyone's going to have to adjust accordingly. So I cover a lot of that um, in some of the introductory chapters about setting it up as a business, treating it like a business, investing yourself into your affiliate business. The other, um, probably the other biggest issue um, that I have and that I know other affiliates have is keeping up with the landscape, with the merchants, with uh, the FTC, with guidelines, with, um, with marketing strategies, trends, etc., etc. So a lot of things have changed, um, you know, over the years. I mean, this, is, this has been, like I said, well over a decade. So I saw Google come on the scene. You know, I was doing affiliate marketing prior to there being a Google. Um, I went through um, the Google Cash method, which was really great, and, um, and of course got slept, which was not really great. <laughs> Right? and uh, learned SEO, and uh, of course now there's all kinds of events, there's tons of training material, you know, the, and things have just changed, and of course now there's, you know, we're having some policies and guidelines and, and um, some uh, legal things coming into the mix also. So just keeping up with all of that on top of new merchants hitting the scene, um, there being changes to merchants you're working with, affiliate programs closing, and things like that. So it's something to keep up with. But like I said, it's a business, and that's just part of doing business. So um, I think those are probably the two main things that people struggle with. All right, so uh, fourth question here is, when can we expect the release or the launch of your book, and through which channels? Um, I, you know what, I'll tell you, I'm so excited about this. Um, it is scheduled to uh, be released in August 2011. And um, I'm still in the process of, of um, getting it finished up and edited and, and even writing some parts of it and, and such. So I'm feeling a little pressure and feeling rushed. But one of my personality traits, like I said a minute ago, we're all different. We all operate differently. Um, but one of my personality traits is I work very well under pressure. So um, I set the date for August 2011 and, um, and that puts me under the gun. I set that date before I ever wrote the first word of the book. So it was quite a um, it was it was quite a big goal. Um, even at the time, I think I gave myself six or seven months at the time that I set that date um, to get my book written, published, and on Amazon. So I'm very excited about it. Um, formats, um, like I said, it's going to be a physical book, probably paperback, and there will also be a Kindle version, of course. And then, like I said, I plan to have multiple digital versions of it um, as a digital download and as a course and various things like that. So as we get closer to the release date, I'll be able to release more information about it. I'm super excited about it. Like I said, the date's August 2011. I haven't even given it a proper title yet. The topic is niche affiliate marketing, of course, which is what I do for a living. And I always make the joke I sell everything online from Elvis bobbleheads to patio furniture. 
and it's not really that big of a joke. Um, I love physical products. I love, uh, I've loved them for years. I love them even more now that like everyone has come online and is shopping online. Um, online sales are just, just continuing to climb every year. Niche affiliate marketing is a great thing to get into. And, um, so I'm very excited about bringing this information to the world in a format that they can understand. Um, for those that want to start a business that they can really enjoy, have a lot of fun with, and, and do very well with. There's so much opportunity and so much money to be made online, and it's just growing every single year. So thanks, Missy, for the interview. I will see you guys back over at g34media.com.